Chubby, time for bed. Yay, bedtime is the best time. I can't wait to tell Sparkly Joe all about my day. I'm sure Sparkly Joe can't wait to hear all about it. Good night, sweetie. Night, Mommy. Sparkly Joe, appear to me. Show yourself, hear my story. Hey, hey, ho, ho. It's your old pal, Sparkly Joe. I've come from the land of bubblegum trees all the way to hear your plea. I knew you'd come, Sparkly Joe. What's the scoop, Miss Sally Walker? You got another crazy story to tell your old pal? Oh, do I? Okay, so remember how I told you that Kara Harper told Bobby that I liked him yesterday? I hate that little cunt. Yeah, well, I did what you said. I chewed some gum right after lunch, and then at recess, I threw it in her hair. And then Maggie saw it, and she pointed, and everyone laughed at her. <laughs> we really popped her bubble. I knew we'd get back at that little tattletale twerp. <laughs> so what did Bobby do when he found out there was gum in Kara's hair? He laughed. Did he know it was you? No. Maybe if he knew, he'd think you were cool. Maybe he would be your boyfriend? No, no, I don't want a boyfriend. Boyfriends are gross. You can't hide from me, Miss Sally Walker. I know a lie Sally, when I hear- Sally, I just got off the phone with Mrs. Harper. Oh my God! Oh, fuck me! What the hell are you doing in my daughter's bedroom? Mommy, this is Sparkly Joe. Curtis, Curtis, get up here. Sally, take away from this man right now and get behind me. Why, Mommy? Just do what I say, damn it! What's going on? Who the hell are you? I can explain. I'm gonna kick your ass. No, Daddy, don't hurt Sparkly Joe, please. I know how this might look, but I swear to God, I've never touched your daughter. Except right now. Curtis, call the cops. You have 10 seconds to explain yourself right now. Uh, 10 seconds, right. Uh, two months ago, I my wife left me and kicked me out of the house and I stumbled around for a bit. I came to your house and uh, nobody was home, so I saw the, the pictures on the window and it reminded me of my daughter. Yeah, and uh, I went up and you guys weren't home, so I just hid under uh, Sally's bed and uh, I never expected to be found out, but... <laughs> Sally's got some good ears. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, I was Sparkly Joe, here to guide her through all of her, you know, magical dreams and hopes, and she's really a smart girl. And uh, now I'm not just you know, some failure that his family don't want to be around, and I'm jealous of your family, and I, I just, I really want to be a uh, part of it. Wow. That was actually kind of heartbreaking. Hey, listen, maybe we can- Second Amendment! Sparkly Joe. You're telling me!